Hey there chameleons, it's Camille and today I have a very exciting video and I know I say that every time I do something hair related but it's because it's really exciting and the reason for this one is because I based my edges off of my galaxy hair so I did these beautiful galaxy edges with a bunch of different colors, freshly done dye job, added colors, added glitter, and it looks so cosmic right now. I'm living for this look, I'm so happy with it, and I hope you guys like it too. Let's hop on into the tutorial and I'm gonna show you how to do this. Okay, so the first thing I wanted to do was bleach my roots because as you can see, they've already grown out quite a bit since I posted the tutorial on this look, which is linked in the description box down below. So I'm using my regular bleaching routine to do that. I have a good bleach powder with a 30 volume developer and bring it down to 20 volume using an Olaplex dupe, which can also help strengthen and repair bonds in your hair while bleaching. I have a video that's an extremely detailed breakdown showing how to get the lightest color with the least amount of damage and that's linked in the description as well. So you wanna stir it around and then you can loosely clip your hair out of the way. Today I'm kinda cheating by only doing the front inch of my roots surrounding my face because those are the hairs that I need to be perfectly colored to make this effect. And normally I would do this on all of the roots of my head but if you've seen my bleaching video, it's an incredibly long process, but once I do update my roots, I'm going to make everything match. I made the roots super saturated because I wanted every hair completely surrounded so I can get them as light as possible because once again, I am cheating worse than a college admission scandal and only doing one round of bleach. After rinsing, do the Olaplex dupe step two to help repair hair and then let it dry. The next day, my roots look like this, which is definitely light enough to put my galaxy colors on top of and will be evened out next root touch up to prevent banding. These are some dyes I used in my hair listed below and I started with the pink because it's the lightest color and it's going to be overpowered by the other colors once added. It gives a nice bright base, and when the blue bleeds into it, you get a nice purple raspberry shade. Next, I'm doing purple because it's the second lightest, so I want to get good coverage with that. And by the way, you need to make these sections really tiny, like as small as possible so they don't look like blocky lines, but more of a cohesive swirl. Lastly, I'm adding the blue because it's the darkest and going to bleed into everything, as you can tell now that it overtook all the purple in my hair. How rude. And this is what it looks like in the end, and I am absolutely thrilled with how it came out. When I did the roots, I also just pulled the dye throughout the rest of the hair, so it would be a nice little refresh. So the idea of this is that I would lay my edges to the gods and then fill it in with some color so that it will go with my hair color combo. I also have a video on how I did this and it's linked in the description box down below if you haven't seen it already. If you haven't seen it, you're a step behind. So go watch that video and you will be all caught up. So pretty much what you'll need for this is some eyeshadows in the color of your hair and then some eyeliners, especially if you don't have the right colors of shadows, which I don't because I didn't bring my whole collection to Maine after I left New York City, so I'm working with what I have. And of course you need stuff to do your edges, and I'm using my regular Eco Styler and a toothbrush, and I will show you guys how I do that. And then the topping on the cake is glitter, and we will get to that last. The gel I use to lay my edges is the Eco Styler Olive Oil one. They have a lot of different variations. I'm not really sure what the difference between all of them are because they're all pretty similar. So I guess it doesn't really matter what you get, but as long as it's Eco Styler and it's in like this kind of container. This also got an award from Naturally Curly in 2019 for being the best of the best. I like this container because instead of screwing it off, you just lift it up which is perfect because I never have to dip the toothbrush in and try and scoop it out that way because there's always a little bit that comes out on the top and you can just scoop it up, no problem, and brush away. Now let's get to work. I'm gonna clip my top hair up to get it out of the way. You wanna scoop up a good amount of this to make sure that your edges stay laid and I know it's like a really annoying texture because it just does feel like you're putting goo on your head, um, which you are. I'm gonna start by swiping the middle down a little 
Mine looks extreme right here because I have a widow's peak, but if you don't, no worries. You don't have to have as thick of a swoop. So that is definitely going to hold in place. And the toothbrush has already gotten a little blue. Now that the center swoop is done, I'm gonna go around on the rest of the edges and make as dramatic swoops as possible because obviously this Galaxy Edges tutorial has to be out of this world. 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 So you can go as heavy handed as you want with this, but since it's dramatic, we're just gonna take it all the way. You can also use a comb to help get the edge perfectly straight. I don't have a rat tail comb with me, but Next best thing, pretty much the same. I love that the colors just naturally swirl together before I even added any color or liner or anything to them, which is why I wanted to refresh my roots, not because I actually like doing my roots, because you guys know I always let it get overgrown, but because I thought it would be super cool to do edges like that. And when am I gonna have a chance to do this kind of look again? Once my hair starts fading and then I get tired of this color and then I move on and then you'll see what the next color is in my next hair tutorial. Unfortunately, this little baby has got to go. It was just a little bit lower, I could have kept her. I want to define between the swoops a little more so I am going to use the comb to kinda straighten that out and then brush the next part down. Edges is really an art. You can get so creative with this and people have tons of different methods and you can make different shapes. It's just a little bit frustrating sometimes because you'll get a really good swoop on one side and then the other side will just disappoint you. And then it takes a lot longer to do your edges than you thought and then you're late for work or whatever. Not me because I just work from home, but I'm just looking out for you guys. This swoop is getting pretty long, so that's how you know you want to go section it out and then do a secondary swoop. And that's the scientific term for it. I think I'm gonna turn this guy into a curl, actually. That would be kind of cute. So this guy is going to dry into, <laughs> into a curl, and it should be ready by the end of this tutorial. I'm very happy with how this side has turned out so far. And remember that it doesn't have to be exactly perfect because we do have the shadow and liner to help fill in any sparse areas or any area you want to add a little bit more color or a different color to so this is a really good start but now i have to make the other side just as good which is going to be really hard it's like painting the other side of your hand or doing like the other side of your liner sorry i just like talked over myself i'm pulling that a little bit forwards and swoop it's pretty good I think this side is going to be the same. It's going to be one more swoop, and then I'll take this and turn it into a curl. I'm going to clean up the edge of this edge real quick. Now I'm going to make the same curl on this side. What? Get out of the way. There we go. Twist and scrunch. That's how you get the best cute little curls. Congrats, the hard part is over. Now onto the easy part. We're gonna start with you subscribing to my channel and then we're going to start filling this in with some powder. This is my Ofra makeup palette in Bright Addiction. I love this palette. It has so many bright colors. It's kind of my go-to for when I want something really pigmented. I'll link this and everything else that I use in the description so it's easier to find. Now you just need a couple of little brushes. One is from B&H and one is from Luxie. They both make really good brushes. Happy birthday, Kyler! Hey, thank You're 25 you! 25 years old, Woo. quarter century! <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to give you your present later. Oh, I'm so excited. I know, you're gonna love it. I would kiss you right now, but you're making... Lipstick? Yeah. Thank you. Just air work. kiss. The cool thing about this is you can do it even if you haven't dyed your hair this color because the gel helps hold on to the powder and you can also do it if you have light roots. Also, if you're blonde, you can just pat right over it and it will be super easy. If you have dark hair, it will be kind of like a darker effect, but it will still be kind of cool. I'm using my Makeup Forever Aqua XL liner and I believe this is I-90, yes. I-90, so this is a beautiful purple. It comes out really easily, which is why I thought it would be perfect for this because I don't wanna really be pressing too hard and messing up what I've already done. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. So I'm just gonna put that, ah, oh, I need to sharpen it. I hate sharpening pencils, especially lip liners. Those are always so hard. I'm just gonna be 
coloring in here a little bit with the purple. This is such a good purple. This part up here is still so wet. Why I did this part first? Probably overdid it with the gel, but you kind of need to when you're going to do edge art because the last thing you want it to do is just start falling apart on you. You can also kind of define the swoop a little bit more with this. Same thing, the other side, you get the drill. I love using the purple to break up that blue and I'm gonna do one more color on top to kind of pull everything together because I do have a lot of teal in my hair. So I'm going to teal your heart with my new teal edges. <laughs> you already told my heart. <laughs> That's the past tense of teal. <laughs> Same thing, this is the Aqua XL liner and this is in I-24. It's a beautiful bright teal and it's going to pull the rest of the look together. Oh my goodness, this is beautiful. I'm gonna sweep that one out artificially. Look at that, I just totally faked a shape right there. And you can do this with any color, by the way. Whatever color you have for your hair, you could use that. You could use a different color, an accent color. You could dye just the roots and do kind of like a Billie Eilish type thing. You could do just the front two strands and do some sort of TikTok e-girl type thing. Whatever you want to do, I support it because I am just here for the self-expression and I love when you guys tell me that you watch my videos and got the confidence to dye your hair because a lot of people tell you that you cannot bleach and dye natural hair because it will break or it will ruin your curls and blah 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 but it really just takes like work to get it right and you can do it and i also love when people say that they were too scared to have like a bright color and then they were less scared about it after that i'm just going to use that little brush and just sort of blend any areas that need to be blended this guy needs some help and this also helps blend your colors together using a little bit of teal from the palette and that's going to give the cutest little blend. To top everything off, I am finishing this look with the Urban Decay Heavy Metallic Liner in Midnight Cowboy, yes. It's just a beautiful gold glitter liner. It's a clear base, so I'm pretty much just going to be brushing that on. So this will give an illusion of stars in your galaxy, so you can be the star that you are I always wanted to be a Disney Channel star, but I think I'm too old for that now. I love this look more than I expected. I'm rushing to go to Kyler's birthday dinner, which is just outside down by the pool, but I know dinner is like pretty much ready and I'm almost done these edges. I'm gonna blend that with my finger. You don't wanna add too much glitter, otherwise it will kind of cover the actual color itself. And realistically, stars are not even that close together, so adding too many in one spot is just unrealistic expectations. I'm putting some stars in between. You know how people always say that when you do your brows, they're sisters, not twins, as an excuse for not being perfect? Well, I'm going to tell you the same thing about this. These are quadruplets, not Wait, they can still be identical. <laughs> These are a really large family of siblings and none of them are twins. And that's what makes this look special. Okay, my edges are officially laid and glittered and this is what it looks like. I got this little curl down here. I love how the glitter just looks in the light. And now it's time to style. I already did my hair routine and my curls are hydrated and happy. Like I can't even believe how that one's just beautiful. Pretty much I'm just giving myself a side part and then this is going to be a little bit more pulled back so you can see the edges on that side. And then this one you can see the edges when your hair is blowing in the wind or you could have your hair pinned up, you could have it pinned back, whatever you please. And I please this. Ooh. I like that, just like a little tuck behind my ear, and you can see everything. 
All right, so that's it for today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed doing it and trying something different with my hair. I love trying different stuff with my hair. As you guys can tell, that's kind of the whole point of the channel and my life. So if you guys like this video, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other social media linked in the description box down below. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I wish you all a happy, healthy life, and I will see you in the next video. Kisses. Mwah.